What this means is that truth never requires an update. Never requires an update. It's never going to shift. It's never going to change. In 2 Timothy 1.13, Paul addresses his son in the faith and he says, Retain the standard of sound words which you've heard from me in the faith and love which are in Christ Jesus. Timothy, don't be moved away from what you've been taught. You hear, don't you, quite often in recent days, it, it is not surprising it is happening in the time of moral insanity, in the time of, of apostasy in many ways. You, you hear about these people who are so-called deconstructing. And how many of these people are themselves involved in sexual immorality as they are deconstructing? And it's, and it's leading to their ruin. Because God's truth doesn't change. Homosexuality is still a sin. Sex before marriage is still a sin. Adultery is still a sin. Men are still men. Women are still women. The structure that God gave in his word for home life and church life and ministry, is, it doesn't change. The feminist movement may take over our culture. It won't change what God has ordained for men to do in ministry and what he's ordained for women to do in ministry. It won't change. And so when all of a sudden someone wants to unhitch you from the Old Testament like Andy Stanley and the church begins to be soft and unfaithful on these subjects that they know will bring the wrath of the culture upon them, you know what you're meeting with is a satanic strategy. And the weight of faithfulness and stability is just stay in the truth. The truth never changes. 